Hi, I am just back from Colombia. It was a super, super quick trip. Crazy quick trip, in fact. So I still feel a little woozy, jet laggy. I want to talk about why I went to Colombia. I, I went to give a talk. What I'll do now by way of an intro is pass you through my, my travel day to a, a, a very tired version of me in Colombia. It is late and I am in uh, Cartagena in Colombia. I've traveled all day, I flew to Amsterdam, I flew to Panama, and then on to here, because I'm here to talk in an event called Let's Talk Coffee, run by Sustainable Harvest. And I chose to stop coming and talking at events. I made this decision maybe a couple of years ago for two reasons. One, I kind of just felt a little overexposed at those kind of events. I'd done a lot of emceeing, I'd done a lot of talking, and I, I kind of felt like everyone deserved a break from me. And secondly, I had nothing to say. You know, like I didn't want to just stand up and give some sort of vague talk about something that wasn't particularly interesting or important. So now I think I have something to say. I hope I have something to say, and I'm quite nervous to say it tomorrow. I don't know if these talks are going to be recorded or not. I'll try and capture it if it isn't. Otherwise, I'll just try and talk you through some of the key ideas behind what it is that I want to talk about that I've been sort of fixated on for months now, actually. But as of right now, I've been awake for about 24 hours, and I've got to get up early, and I need to go to bed. So the event I was at was called Let's Talk Coffee, and it was an interesting event for a few different reasons. It's organized by Sustainable Harvest, an importer in the US, and uh, I'd known about it for a number of years. I've never been before. What makes it interesting to me is that the audience is very heavily made up of producers, uh, along with uh, NGOs, nonprofits that operate in producing countries, um, you know, millers, exporters, importers, some roasters, but not that many, um, even a few banks, financiers. They did record the talk, and actually they put it out on Facebook Live, pretty much. And uh, I'll link to the talk below and also give you an idea of where in that particular video you need to head to to get to my talk. I'm not unhappy with the talk that I gave. Uh, I think I did an okay job with it. Uh, but I, I do think the ideas perhaps merit being taken out of that particular context, that particular stage, and, and talked about a little bit more. And at its root, I would explain it this way. If you look at equitable trade, trade that you might describe as fair outside of a brand name, uh, there's more to it than just price. Now, right now, the C market, the, the kind of um, the global price for coffee, if you will, is incredibly low. Inflation adjusted, it may never have been lower, but it's, it's super low. It's under a dollar, it's insane. Now, specialty coffee feels insulated from that because we pay a lot more for coffee. But if you look at trade through the dynamics of power and risk, then I, I think specialty coffee still has a great deal of problems with its trading model in terms of it being a truly equitable way to trade. And I wanted to go and talk about these things. Uh, I wanted to talk about how, by and large, roasters uh, do a great job of mitigating risk and pushing it actually in the either direction onto potentially their customers sometimes and certainly onto producers in other times. And you know, when it comes to power, specialty coffee, all of the power lies with the buyer, right? We tend to arrive, pick the thing that tastes amazing, pay great money for it, but that's not really about a long-term, long-standing partnership in a way. So I wanted to talk about contracts, and contracts I know already exist, but I wanted to reimagine contracts, because right now contracts exist to serve the needs of the buyer. They specify quality, they specify you know, delivery time, quantity, and price, right? And they may be multi-year, but in specialty, that's extremely rare. I wanted to go to a room full of producers and say, let's start fresh. What would it look like 
if you decided the terms of the contract, more than just the things that we already know about, but what else is on the table? What else could you build into a contract that you might describe as perhaps a more social contract that would mean the trade is more equitable, right? There's a greater distribution of risk up chain uh, rather than being pushed constantly back onto producers. For me, it, it, it's kind of a beginning. I, I, I wanna go into this perhaps in a separate video in a little bit more detail, but you know, it was an interesting experience for me. Now, the conference itself was pretty great, the bits that I saw. Sadly, uh, I gave a talk and then was on a panel and then enjoyed the rest of that day. I got a brief glimpse into the old town of Cartagena that night. And then the next day was a complete write-off. I was in bed, unwell, uh, curled up in a ball, feeling like death. Uh, the entirety of that day through to the next morning. And then I caught a little bit of the conference, even though I still felt a little bit weird. And then I was on a flight out that afternoon. So it was really that short of a trip, which is frustrating. But it was definitely an interesting event. It was definitely an honest event where people presented um, perspectives and ideas that were raw and difficult and much needed, I think. Um, so I'm very glad I got to take part in it. And I really just wanted to highlight that, that this was, an, I think, an important talk for me, um, but really an idea that I want to get going, right? Like the power shouldn't lie solely in the hands of roasters when it comes to deciding what should be in a good social contract, what should be in, in, a, in a more round, holistic contract that might last for multiple years with a producer or a group of producers. You know, all our ideas are inherently self-serving and I'm interested in shutting up and listening. And there was a ton of feedback from the event and I think Sustainable Harvest are gonna be working with it. So if you're interested in this, do pay attention, uh, do talk to them uh, and I'll be posting more about that in the future too. So just a, a little video about a short trip. Be interested in your feedback and your thoughts, even though I know I haven't presented the idea as coherently as perhaps I tried to on stage. If you really wanna get into it, please watch that talk and, and I'd love to continue this discussion. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day.